Hello guys, welcome to Animal Video Games, and today I'm going to be reviewing all the Predator movies, including Alien vs. Predator, and you can see right now, the last one I would put as Alien vs. Predator. Um, I love the Alien franchise, I mean, I love the Predator franchise, not so much the Alien franchise, I mean, it's okay, but, um, I always loved the Predator franchise more, because that was the one that I watched first, and I just like it a lot better. Um, but in last place comes Alien vs. Predator. Um, it gets a D. I didn't really like this movie. Um, I guess maybe the PD-13 violence, maybe. But it, it was all set in one place. I didn't care about any of the characters. They didn't care about the premise. And they didn't care about the fighting. And you really couldn't tell what was going on. And that brings us to the next movie, which is Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Mainly the be best part about this movie is um, the fighting, which you could tell more about what's going on if it wasn't so dark the whole entire movie. Which I'm never going to mention that um, the lighting in any other movie, um, barely, except this movie. Even in the movie theaters, you couldn't tell what is going on. Because the whole entire time is pitch dark. And uh, it's just kind of a problem. And the ending is just like, yo, what, what in the world? Um, so, next up is Predator 2. Um, mainly the reason, the problem with this one is because it's in the city. I mean, it was fun and all, and it's rewatchable to some sort. It's pretty, it, it's, it deserves a C, but it's, um, that's, it's still pretty bad. Um, I mean, you weren't scared on any of the parts, because the whole entire scary part about the Predator's the Predator movie, Predators, and Prey is it's all scary because it's in the environment and you're all, like, exposed. In this movie, you're just, like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem any scary. And the Predator isn't really a scary franchise. It's just this movie, um, it was pretty bad. You have to watch this. It, I mean, you have to watch it to see how bad it is. Next is Predators. Uh, instead of Aliens, it's Predators, but this is a 2010 instead of 1986. But, um, I thought this movie premise had, um, a match the first one almost, where, um, they're very exposed in the wilderness. It might be the scariest for the whole entire franchise, so props to, um, to this movie. And it's somewhat enjoyable, you can somewhat care about the characters, it's just, it's okay. It's mediocre. At third place, we have The Predator. I know lots of people um, give lots of people heat if they hate The Predator. But I love The Predator. I think, um, not love it. It's okay. It's an okay movie. Uh, although the characters are cracking way too many jokes, the ending was okay. And um, I love this um, boss Predator. Instead of just the regular Predator, which is already insanely like violent and... Um, uh, he already kicks a butt, and then they make, then they up it up to this mega predator or something. It has like spinal cords from his hair and that thing. And it's, I don't think this is actually a picture of uh, the predator, the the master predator, but he's a pretty good boss, and they do the, probably the most best kills in this movie. Second is Prey. Um, I've already made a full review on this video, so you can watch that, but. This movie um, really captures you start from finish, and um, it almost beats the first Predator movie because I've seen the first Predator movie um, like five times now. And but the action in this movie is absolutely insane. It sort of gets the suspense and has some really cool action. First is obviously um, Predator, the first one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's um, has very good action, it's original, it's a classic, it's Predator. I don't know anyone that would not say this is the best. 